Hey, I'm Sarah, and this is Ask Me Anything. I'm here to answer your questions. Okay, Katie Dunfield says, Hi, Sarah, how do you know how many pieces of furniture to put in a room? And how do you know the scale is proportionate appropriate? Oh, that's a tough question to start with. Okay, so Katie, when it comes to how many pieces of furniture to put in a room, I want you to start by thinking about what do you want the room to do? What is the purpose of this room and how many people are you trying to fit in this room? You don't need to overcrowd it, but I want you to think about where do you want to sit and read a book? Where do you want to watch TV and a movie? How many people are you trying to put on that sofa if you're watching TV or a movie? That's really the guiding force for me is to think about who needs to use this room and how does it need to function? The next step is I always try and choose human scaled pieces. I know that sounds kind of crazy, right? But it's amazing to me today how many pieces of furniture are in the market that are absolutely giant. I like the intersection of comfort and spatial efficiency. So I'm always trying to get the most out of the least amount of space. And I always want a room that can actually fit the largest number of pieces in because I'm kind of greedy that way. I want to be able to kick back in the sofa and watch a movie, but then I want to be able to be in a chair all by myself and read a book. I want a games table. I want a coffee table. But you need to think about your personal preferences first. So start by making the list of all the pieces that would make the room really work for you. You need to know if you want an ottoman versus a coffee table. You need to know if you want a love seat versus a sofa. And of course, you then have to be aware of how much space you have because you know what? We can't have it all. We have to make choices. So choose the pieces that work best for you.